Yeah, yeah. So, like, I was, um, I was just moved into a tiny, tiny little house. And guess what? The toilet is, um, connected with the shower. And whenever I take a shower, the toilet water just starts to, like, overflow. I'm like, okay, what kind of house is this? It's it's like, no wonder the people left it because the plumbing is all messed up. And, um, uh, what else? Hmm. Not really sure what I was gonna say. Um, I was asking the Lord to please, re- you know, reunite me with my child very soon, and um. He is. I believe it. Um, I'm so tired. I'm just waiting for back surgery. Um, it's gotten to the point where if I don't have back surgery... I'm probably going to die, you know. Um, I mean, it's just, I can't really explain it. But, um, I also have a roommate, but he works, and all he does is, well, he pays half the rent. He works, and he watches TV. Pretty much all day long when he's off. But, um, I met him at the movie theater, but, but, um, I feel like I've seen him before. But who knows? It could be just my imagination or whatever. But, um, I also wanted to uplift in prayer before God my relatives and cousins, um, that the Lord be with them and their families. Uh, my sister, my mom, and my father has just passed away, and it, it it was really sad because I was in the hospital at the time. I couldn't attend, but my mother sent me pictures, and it was a beautiful funeral. It was very beautiful, but um. I'm starting to miss him now. After two months, I'm starting to miss my father. And, um, I just don't know. Like, where do we go from here, you know? And, um,. I just have to keep praying and trusting in God and His providence. Um, you know, the future doesn't look all that bad, but um, but sometimes I'm tempted to believe that it is. Um... 
sometimes I'm tempted because I just want to give up and just, you know, I don't know, give up faith or whatever, hope. It's just so hard, but somehow God has seen us through so far. People want to have their way in this world, but you know, everybody has has to make their own destiny. You can't be in charge of other people. Um, you know, you can't choose for other people and stuff. You can't defame them and expect not to be defamed yourself. And I know you you can't hate people without getting hate back. And you'll just suffer in the end. That's a rule of social and nature. And um, most people from don't know this. And that's the whole problem. Maybe y'all are pioneers, but um, you don't need to involve us. I mean, we're perfectly fine living safely. I mean, you can you can be out there climbing your mountains or whatever, but uh, please don't involve us because we don't want to get hurt out there. And um, I know my child is safe um, with church family. Um, I don't want to take risks that are not necessary and that don't necessarily have to be taken. Like the Lord said, he gave us guidelines, like he gave us certain guidelines, certain rules. And he told us, don't cross those boundaries or else you'll have trouble. And I'm pretty sure he meant it, you know, so you know, just whatever the Lord says for you to do in his word, you must just obey. <laughs> if you don't, you will just hurt your own life and you'll reap consequences that you never welcomed. I hope you have a blessed day. And may the Lord help you find rest within your soul. I pray that you don't do anything rash or anything that the Lord did not designate for you to do. I want to put out there the fact that I'm a Christian. And as in Pilgrim's Progress, I'm Christiana, and I'm going to travel the road to Emmanuel's land with my children. With my two children, now Christian, my husband, has gone before us, and we're supposed to meet him in Emmanuel's land. But he travels alone because his road is too dangerous for Christiana and the children to take. The Lord knows how much we can take. He doesn't give us any more than we can take. Well, I hope you guys have a peaceful evening. And may all your dreams come true. Oh, shoot. Can you help me get my phone? I dropped it. Oh, shoot. Oh, there.